So one thing that happens when you let it sit for a little while is um, battery dies. So we put this in here. It's a Phoenix charger, 24 volt, 25 amp, that would run off of the shore power to keep it nice and trickled up and working right. So, all right, so we get the guts off of it here. Basically, if you recall in the previous video, we run in uh, AC power just to this here. Then what we'll do is we'll put a positive leg and a positive leg out to the battery. And on this one here, we'll put a negative leg out to the battery. And uh, what we'll also add is this trickle charger. So we'll use a little piece of um, tinned um, marine cable. So it's wrapped. It's from another project. We'll just run that down and just kind of put it on there. If you recall in the previous video when we put these GFCIs in here um, to run to the to the charger. So don't forget all that stuff when you're doing yours. Okay. So this trickle charge, what we're gonna do is just take a piece of this. So take this marine cable here, strip it down. Get one black and one red for a positive and negative. And then we're gonna put The size that they give us on this are pretty small. Trickle charger, I don't know if it'll fit that in there. Let me check and see. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this here looks to be pretty small. So I guess it should be said that I, I've disconnected all the power and all that stuff, so. So what's nice about their setup is that everything's just um, labeled so nicely. So it even says trickle charge right there on it and tell you if the polarity's off, yada yada. So now with the <coughs> tinned marine right stuff that we slide this up in there. Right there. So, positive, negative. Cool. So, that'll work. Let's go ahead and we're going to strip these down even smaller so that we can get a head on that. So, 18. Those and twist them up real nice. Alright, let me go look for something for an hour. Okay, so these are what I've got here. They're little end pieces. So, a funny bus conversion story for all my bus converter friends out there. If you're not a bus converter friend, then 
you can just listen. Uh, you don't need to comment or anything. The uh, the reality is, is I was intending. See how these are going. Intending to work on something completely different today. And yet here I am. Okay, so we've crimped that. Pull on that. And it comes right off. Good job. So <laughs> put another one on. It's important that you check your connections, you know, really like yank on them. Because otherwise you can just be totally screwed. I'm going to squeeze it all the way down here. Alright, so that one's on. Good. And let's crimp it this way too. She's up this little bit so it'll fit. So now we just put them in like so. Nothing to it. Remember, kids, always leave yourself lots of wire. All right. There they go. They're not going anywhere. Now, just stick them in there. Probably easiest just to go one at a time and then screw them down. Yeah, baby screw them down. And I'm going to take the top off of these so that they sit a little deeper in there. Tug. It's not going to bug and rub. Alright, let's move on to the other side. So now we just run this wire down. So this wire needs to come along without interfering with stuff. It's probably best to just kind of go a care. Um, this is the firewall up here, so we don't want to like punch through it too much. And so This will come down. Try this one here. And I can tie it right to that with some set ties. Little wires flopping around in the engine compartment. So, go ahead and get them all together. And tie them up like this. Drill new holes into the firewall. This is our switch here. This is a very stinky place to be, but that's where it is. And this one up here in the corner. Be 
because they're just like a centerpiece. It's getting muggy and gross here in Texas this time of year. I hate it. I wish I could be somewhere else, but I hate too much work to this. Oh well. One day we'll be retired. You're retired? So I'll leave a little bit of a, like a thing on here where you don't go too sharp on the wiring. Teeny tiny pilot hole. So that our job is easier than just a That's it. So we're going to run it back. Throw this around. I need to get my new pads on. It's going to be a bad evening if we don't. My old man getting older. He doesn't work like he's young anymore. So much. I guess it's not too bad. Okay, so then we'll push these guys back to here. Yes, we're going to want about that much. And cut. Sweet. Let's go ahead and get a battery protector off of here. <laughs> 